Okay, here's number four from the uh, Momentum and Impulse Worksheet. Number four, a ball that has a mass of 0.21 kilograms is dropped and is moving at 1.8 meters per second just before it hits the floor. If the ball rebounds from the floor also at 1.8 meters per second, but this time it's going up, and was in contact with the floor for 0.11 seconds, calculate the ball's change in momentum. So we'll do that first. So A... The change in momentum is mass times the change in velocity. And that is the mass times Vf minus Vi. The mass is 0 0.210 kilograms. And the final velocity was 1.8 meters per second up and the initial velocity was 1.8 meters per second down. So this is during the floor hit. It changed its velocity from 1.8 down to 1.8 up. So that is, if again, we can't subtract things that are in opposite direction unless we go, okay, well, let's make this negative but up. So subtract a negative is adding a positive. And they're both up now, so this is the same as 0 0.210 kg times 3.6 meters per second up. That's the change in velocity. That's how much the velocity changed. Let's pull up our calculator, figure out that value. So 0 0.21 times 3.6 has a change in, change in momentum of 0 0.756 kilograms meters per second. That's its change in momentum. The impulse the ball experienced due to the collision with the floor. Well, this is an easy one because impulse, which is also known uh, uh, by formula as force times the change in time, is the change in momentum which is m delta v. So because we have calculated the change in momentum, that is the impulse. So the impulse, I'll just leave it as a capital I, is 0 0.756. And instead of kilograms meters per second, I'll just put Newton seconds. Now, I've made a mistake on both of these. I need a direction. This will also be up. They're both the same value. They represent the same thing. So the impulse is that. C. The force, the cushion exerted on the ball during the collision. The cushion, the floor. The floor was in contact with the floor. Maybe the, for, the force, the cushion exerted on the floor. Okay. Um, so... The impulse is force times the change in time. And the impulse was 0 0.756 newton seconds is equal to the force is what we're trying to figure out. And the time, the time of contact with the floor was 0 0.11 seconds. So when we divide that, we get 0 0.756 newton seconds divided by 0 0.11 seconds. The seconds will cancel out. And what's on our calculator here divided by 0 0.11. And we get the force of 6.87 newtons. Six point eight seven. Am I correct? Almost. There's, again, one thing I'm missing. This has a direction. So this force is also in that same direction because this impulse is that direction of up. And it's obviously, you'll know that the floor is pushing up on the ball that changes its direction when it bounces. There we go.